Today is the 19th of September 2012. We're in Troy, New York at the Troy Senior Center. My name is Wayne Clark. I'm with the New York State Military Museum in Saratoga Springs. Sir, for the record, would you please state your full name and date and place of birth, please? Uh, full name, Eugene C. So Senior. Uh, born 52232. And you were born where? I was born in Waterville, Maine. Okay. And did you attend school in Maine? Maine, yeah. Coney High School. Okay. Lincoln Lincoln Grammar School, Coney High School. Okay. And, and was that in Augusta? Or that was in Augusta, Maine. Okay. And did you graduate from high school? Yes. What year did you graduate? Oh Lord, 40, 47. Okay, all right. Now, do you recall, let me just go back a little bit. Do you recall what it was like uh, in Maine uh, during World War II? Uh, was, were there a lot of like air raid drills and that? Oh yes, we had quite a bit. I can remember when they hit uh, Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in the kitchen with uh, my father and uh, it, came over the radio and I said, Lord, look at here, all these people are dead. And uh, they had a lot of raids and, not a raids, but they had shelters to go yep. up there and all of this. Mm -hmm. So you were only about uh, 10 or 11 when yep. that happened? Yep. Mm -hmm. Did you notice if uh, life changed for you or your parents after that? Uh, like well, rationing or anything like that? Well. I remember the stamps, ration stamps, they had red for meat and mm -hmm. had the sugar and all of that. That's the only thing that I can remember really that changed. I don't mm -hmm. remember anything else. Did they, did the school do any like scrap drives or anything like that? Scrap metal or? No, not the, no. no, no. Okay. So after uh, the war ended, uh, let's see, you, uh, you went in the service in 1950. Um, after, after high school, what did you do? Went right into service. Right, right into the service, okay. And you went into the Air Force. Did, did you get drafted or were you No, 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 I enlisted. And why did you pick the Air Force? Well, I really, really don't know. I just thought that uh, I could get a little more training in the mm -hmm. Air Force. Mm -hmm. And whereabouts did they send you for your basic training? Somewhere in New York, I can't remember that Air Force base. It, I know I got it at the house, but I cannot Do remember. Do you recall what part of New York it was? I think it was downstate. I'm not, the only thing, it, it had to be by a river, because that's what I remember. I know there was a, uh, and I can't think of the name of it, but there was a, a small Air Force base. Was it Stewart? No, not Stewart. Not Stewart. The Stewart's down in Newburgh. Yeah, not do it. Not hmm. do it. Okay. So you took your basic training here in New York State? Right. And how long did your basic training last for? Was it a uh, month and a half? Was it 10 weeks, 16 weeks, something like that? Probably, yeah, could be. At least eight weeks, probably. Yeah. Was that your first? Tough. It was pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Was that your first time away from home? Yes, first, first time away from home. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> what was the training like? What, did you go to the rifle range, or was there a lot of exercising? Oh, well, we, we had to fall out early in the morning. We had to run calisthenics. We had to do all that stuff. Went to the rifle range, combat, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Once you completed your basic training, where did you go next? I went to uh, Tinker Air Force Base. That is in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you do there? Did you attend a, an advanced school there? No, no, I didn't. I was, I was like in the motor pool, pool. and uh, they trained us on watching. Well, that's getting a little ahead of the story. Uh, after I left there, I went to uh, Craig Air Force Base in Alabama, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And from there, they shipped us to California. And from California, we went to Alaska. 
Now, we hit Alaska, and then our orders was to go to the Aleutians. That's up there watching Russia. That mm -hmm. was our main thing, watch Russia. And the funniest thing, when you go in there, if it's snowing, the plane would come in, and it would go up a little grade and drift back. And the only way we got supplies is when they drop them to us, because we'd be up there, that winter's are long. Mm -hmm. And we'd be up there quite a while, and we had certain duties to do to watch over Russia over there. So, so you were pulling like guard duty up there? Yeah, similar to that, right. Okay. And in, in the barracks, there was uh, six of us in the barracks. And I mean, it was cold. And, and how big was your whole unit? Where, where I, up there? Yeah. Oh, there's only six of us in the barracks. But back in, in Alaska, oh geez, that was a big unit. Uh-huh. A pretty big unit. So you, so you stayed in the Aleutians on one of the islands? Yeah, there? yeah. Uh, not no uh, Aleutians, we were out in the Aleutians, that's yeah. right. Okay, so, so there was just six of you guys or were? Just six of us. And uh, we never run out of supplies because they would fly over and drop it down. Now, did you have an officer or an NCO in charge of you? No, guys? we just had a staff sergeant that was in charge of us. Then we had radios. Okay. And um, we had a little walkway where we could walk out. You had to be careful because if you fall, you're, you're done. But they had a little walkway out there where we could see over there. We had big, powerful glasses, uh -huh. binoculars. And. Uh, I spent I spent the whole winter up there because the plane couldn't get in. Jeez. And uh, so when we got back to Alaska, we really s celebrated. Hmm. Now, <clears throat> when you were on duty there, there was only six of you. So how many guys were on duty at a time? Two, two at a trip. Okay. Two. Now, did you watch 24 hours a 24 day? 24 hours a day watch hmm. with with radio. And uh, from the main base, they would contact us maybe every two hours to let know have we seen anything mm -hmm. or anything going on, any activity. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the group of guys you were with, <coughs> were they all like junior airmen? or You said there was a staff sergeant. That's all we had, staff sergeant. The rest of it was PFCs and corporals. Mm -hmm. and, and what about your meals? I mean, who did the cooking? <laughs> Everybody. Everybody done the cooking, yeah. Whatever they dropped down is what we ate, mm -hmm. and we ate pretty good. A lot of sometimes we just ate rations. Didn't feel like cooking. We just mm -hmm. had rations. So you were there for the whole winter. Uh, what about um, you know? Did you have regular toilet facilities and showers? And oh that? yes, yes. We had regular toilet showers. Was cold, but we we managed. Mm -hmm. We would warm up the water and, you know, we manage it. Mm -hmm. Now, what about haircuts and that? No, no, all we done was shave. We come back, that was it, haircuts. You could, no one even thought of haircuts, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, no, as far as cooking, a lot of times we just ate rations. Sometimes we'd <coughs> throw, a, throw a steak on and have potatoes and that kind of yeah. stuff, you know. And uh, most of the time we were sleeping because she was out there most of the time. Mm -hmm. Now, what about uh, time off? Um, I guess there was no place to go or anything that no, nothing to do. No, nope, no, nope. you was right there. No place you couldn't even get off. Did you have uh, like a radio? You oh could? yeah, we had we had radio. We could listen to the radio. Uh huh. That was it. No television, but we had radio, mm -hmm. and that lasted all the time. Now, as far as heating the barracks. What did you heat with? Well, they heat with wood. They would drop wood down to us. And in the barracks, we had a big old pot belly stove. Yeah. You remember what they're like? Sure. And uh, they, we had plenty of wood because they drop it down frequently. And uh, that kept us pretty good. Mm -hmm. Plus, we had uh, clothes. We had what we called bunny boots. You'd never get cold in that. We had certain jackets that they gave us, hoods and all this mm -hmm. stuff. They, uh, we stayed pretty warm. Okay. Now, did 
you didn't get any kind of entertainment like USO shows dropping by or anything like that? Uh, I not suppose. until we come back. Not until we came back to uh, Alaska. Okay. Once you got back to uh, to Alaska, what was that like for you? A different ball game, but it was nice to be back. Mm -hmm. Now, you did know? they send another group out oh, yeah, to take yeah. their place? We, they sent a group in, and we we left, and they stayed. Ah, okay. And again, that plane was just. It wasn't a flat runway. It was up and then the plane would drift back down. Uh -huh. And then he'd have to maneuver the plane where he'd turn around where he could take off. But it was quite a quite an experience. Yeah. Now what did you do in Alaska? We didn't do nothing. We we had our drills and all that and that was about it. Uh huh. They had what they called a Operation North Star. They had the 82nd Airborne. Now in Alaska, you in the winter time, you can put your hand in front of you and not see it for the ice fog. Oh, really? Yeah, for the ice fog. That's how cold it is. And these guys are jumping out of planes up there. And if you're not if you're not careful and keep an eye up there, they'll land on you. But uh, it was cold. It was cold. But in the barracks was nice. Like mm -hmm. again, we had that pot belly there too, and uh, sleeping quarters on this side and that side. In the middle was the pot belly, mm -hmm. but it kept the place nice and warm. Mm -hmm. How much time did you spend up in Alaska? Two and a half years. Ooh. Now, did you get to do any fishing or hunting or anything like that up there? Well, we went to the uh, mines where they gold. Really? Yeah, for gold, yeah, yeah. We couldn't do any of that, you know. They, they, they were pretty strict on you. They, they checked you going in and checked you going out. Ah. You couldn't do, you couldn't do it at all. We seen a lot of the stuff, but that was off limits. Huh. And and then uh, we used to go out fishing. I'm not crazy about hunting. Yeah. But we used to go out fishing. We catch fish, bring them back. We had a good time and. The child, we had to go to the mess hall to eat. Mm -hmm. He didn't eat in the back. We had to go to the mess yep. hall. And uh, we had a nice time. I, you know, it was, it was all right. Mm -hmm. Homesick, but it was all right. Sure. Any kind of entertainment up there? In oh, West yeah, yeah. After we got back, they had different shows. I remember Bob Hope was up there. Oh, really? And I can't think of this girl, that this lady that sang. I can't even think of the song. She was there. She was popular at that time. Yeah, we had, they had good entertainment. Mm -hmm. And then we'd go into town, but uh, it was so expensive that uh, you only go once in a while. Yeah. Hamburg had cost you like four or five dollars. Oh, jeez. So, you know, you only go once in a while. Yeah, I, was, you know, I suppose back then you probably didn't get more than $50 a month at that, right? Yeah, 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 that's it. And I, I was sending a a lot, a lottery home, not a lottery. An allotment to my mother. Uh huh. She was, she received half of my money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I lost my father at a young age, and. Uh, now you were mentioning your your dad was a chef. Yeah, yeah, he was a cook. Okay. And I sent money to her. She got half my check every month. You know to help out. Sure. So you imagine, I didn't have much after yeah. that. How many brothers and sisters? I had one brother and one sister. Mm -hmm. None of them went into service. Okay. Because he stayed home to, with my mother. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you went in during the Korean War. Uh, <clears throat> did you think you might end up in Korea at all? Yeah, they was talking about, they sent us, they sent us uh, to, uh, Oh, the name of that place, Craig Air Force Base. Craig, okay. Craig. And they sent us there, and they was getting ready to train us to load uh, fuel onto the jets. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought that's what we might be going over there, but then they changed the orders and sent us to Alaska. Okay. Now, you did mention working in the motor pool. How did that come about? Well, that was that was part of my MO, motor okay. pool. Now we would drive, 
and if and if the truck or something needs fixing, by then we had those six by sixes. Oh yeah, <laughs> you remember them? Sure. And uh, they were pretty dependable, but uh, it got so cold you had to keep plugging them in at night. Yeah, and they just have heaters in them, did they? Oh yeah, they had they had electric uh, gas heaters in there. Oh okay. And uh, when you turn that on, <laughs> you was warm. Mm -hmm. But we had to plug them in every night. Okay. And when did you, uh, let's see, you stayed for five years in the service. Well, I got extended a year. Mm -hmm. were, were you extended because of Korea? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's because I was supposed to get out while I was up there. Mm -hmm. did, they, uh, did they ask you to stay? Uh, were, did they try to get you to re-enlist? Yeah, they tried to get us to re-enlist, but uh, I didn't, and I regret it now because I wish I had a stayed in. Mm -hmm. But uh, at that time, it, they was real, to me, what we call chicken. They was real chicken at that time, and a lot of stuff has changed, and mm -hmm. they got re real bad, so it just had to hit with mm -hmm. this. Well, let me ask you this, if you don't mind. Was there ever any problems with race relations? Well, yeah. Or yeah. discrimination, I should say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was. Mm -hmm. There was. Okay. Yeah, there was. Right. And uh, so you ended up you ended up getting out in 1955. Were you eligible for, for the GI Bill at all? Yeah, I bought my house on the GI oh, Bill. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. You? And I still use the VA for my medicine and my eyes and my ear, ear hearing aid and my glasses, I still go to the vet for that mm -hmm. over in Albany. Okay. And did you, uh, I know the, the World War II guys got, uh, like when they got out there was this 5220 club, you could collect unemployment at all? It was well, well back. Yeah, we, we, I collected unemployment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't collect unemployment because we weren't eligible for unemployment. Uh, the Korean War was something that we didn't get much credit for. Mm -hmm. Just, I guess they say it wasn't a war. I don't know. Okay. But we we didn't get no credit. We didn't get no. Uh, <clears throat> we got much in our pay. But like some of the fellas in other service, they got. Uh, what do you call that? Money after they got out. Oh yeah, there are some states that that had like a bonus, like if you yeah, yeah. it served like some of them. I heard they, they some states gave like a five hundred dollar bonus. Well, no, we didn't get any of that. No, we, New York didn't. I know. <laughs> uh, that Korean War, I think, was the young forgotten war. Yes. Yeah. They we, we don't we didn't even count on that war. Mm -hmm. That's the way I feel. Yeah. All right. So, did you once you got out? Did you go to work or did you go to uh, school, like a college? No, or? I I uh, ended up in. Uh, I went home first, mm -hmm. and then I have a cousin in uh, Albany, so I said I'm gonna go visit him. So I went and visited him, and I got a job, and I met my wife in uh, Alabama, and I said for her we'll get married. So she mm -hmm. came up and we got married, and I've been here ever since. Okay. I worked for uh, Snoke Oil Company, and then I worked for uh, Mohawk Paper. Oh, okay. Now, with Sunoco, what did you do? Did well, I was I was like a maintenance man there. I used to take in the barges, used to have to gauge them out when they come in, change barrels to gallons. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, and. Uh, was that down at the port? Yeah, that port of Rensselaer. Okay. Nine J. Yeah. Uh, you have to make sure that the gas or the oil would fit in the tanks, mm -hmm. and they'd come up. Sometimes they'd come up seven o'clock in the evening, and I'd have to go down and hook it up and check the tanks and mm -hmm. gauge it out. Mm -hmm. And then you left them to go to work for Moa? No, uh, they moved. They moved out. Oh, okay. And uh, then I went to work for Mohawk Paper. I was a emboss machine operator. And where, whereabouts were they located? Waterford, New York. Waterford. Well, they have two. The main one's in uh, Cahos, 
Then they have another plant in Waterford. That's where I work, the oh, Waterford okay. plant. Yeah. All right, and you, you lived in Troy or back oh, yeah. then? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And when you got out of the service, did you stay in contact with anybody you, you were there with? I run into one guy in Albany. It was the funniest thing. I'm going up State Street walking and he's coming down. And I looked at him and I guess he looked at me because we turned around and there was a fellow I was stationed with. Uh huh. That's the only contact uh, I up, had. Up in Alaska. Yeah. It's the only contact I had. Mm -hmm. Did you stay in touch with him or anything? Or? No, 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 no. Just chatted a little just bit? Just chatted. We went and had a drink or two. You know, yeah. And uh, just talked. And uh huh. Did you join any. Uh, Veterans organizations like the uh, American Legion? VFW. VFW? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I uh, joined the US, USS, USA Banking Credit Card. Okay. So I joined that. Like a credit union or? Well, this is, this is uh, Something new, I guess, to veterans. If you're a VFW member, you can join this. Is a credit card okay. outfit, and you can uh, join them. Okay. And, uh, and I I joined that, so they sent me a credit card. Here it is. I don't know if you're, you. Oh yeah. Okay. USAA rewards. Yes, I've I've heard of them. Yeah, they're very good. They're very good. Yeah. Uh, I went uh, somewhere and I used my credit card, and uh, they called me, and they asked me, did I use the credit card at this certain place? I said yes. She said, why we asked you? Because it doesn't seem that's not your mo. I said what? <laughs> I guess they, 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 I guess they know what they're doing. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. But they that, wanted to make sure that uh, no one uses it. It wasn't stolen or anything. Right. They're good. They're very yep. good. And uh, so I uh, joined that and the yep. VFW, and that's about it. Okay. Now, how do you think your time in the service changed or affected your life? Different outlook. Mm -hmm. Different outlook on people. Some people are nice, some people aren't. You just have to use your instinct when you're dealing with people. Uh -huh. okay. All right, and uh, you mentioned you got married. Oh, yeah, 30, well, I've been married 56 years. Mm -hmm. Any children? Three children, mm -hmm. two boys and a girl. Any grandchildren? Oh, Lord, five of them. <laughs> okay. And uh, anything else uh, you want to touch on, or any any memories or incidents from the service that? Well, you asked about discrimination. Mm -hmm. I was at the bus station in Oklahoma. Yeah, Oklahoma. And this guy. I was with redhead guy. We was up there in Alaska together, and we got on the bus. We sit down. We talk. The bus driver comes and says, "You can't sit here." I said, "Why?" He said, "You belong at the back." So I said, "Okay, I'm not gonna argue with you." Mm -hmm. So I got up and Red. He said, "I'm going with you." He said, "You can't go back there." And Red said, "I don't know why not." So he went back there anyway. The bus driver, I guess he ignored it. He said, you know, I could call the cops, but I'm going to let you go this time. So that's that's one incident that I had. Were you were you guys in uniform? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, we was in uniform. Hmm. Not that that should have made a difference, but no, I mean. No, it shouldn't have, but no. we, we was in uniform. He was going to, uh, where was he going? Chicago? And I was going to go to Maine. 
Mm -hmm. okay. So that's, that's one of them. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can honestly say that's not the first time I've heard that either. Well, no, I know. There's a lot of, yeah. you probably heard a lot of this, a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. Anything else that comes, comes no, to mind? That, that's any, a, any good times or any, oh, anything yeah, funny? Yeah, yeah, we had some good times. I had some good times. Yep. We had, I really had some good times in the service. Like I said, I wish I'd have stayed. I'd have been, what little money I'd have got pension would have been nice, you know? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I got out of the Army and I didn't want any more to do with the service. And uh -huh. then eventually I ended up joining the National Guard and I stayed, stayed in until I got 20 years. And then you died, huh? once I turned age 60, then I started drawing a pension and that, that's really coming in handy. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for your interview. Okay, you're welcome.